everyone, so this is going to be a tuck up and ride with me with Inky. Uh, we're going to be jumping at home, it's going to include some GoPro videos, some regular videos, so I hope you all enjoy. For the meantime, um, you may have noticed that was a different intro. I got copyright striked on my last video, which I find highly rude because it's not a copyrighted audio, so I'm not really sure why YouTube flagged me on my last video when all the others have been fine. But, you know, <laughs> I didn't want to risk it on this video, so I just put my outro as my <laughs> intro, so I hope you all don't mind that. Anyway, so today we are jumping a little course at home I set up. I don't have that many jumps at my yard, so I'm <laughs> just making do with what I've got, but I've only had Inky for a few weeks now, I think two weeks, so nothing's perfect, pre-warning. But we had lots of fun, he was amazing, and I can't wait for you guys to watch this video and hopefully enjoy it. Um, here is me struggling to clip my breastplate onto my saddle. <sighs> Come on, you can do it. Come on, girl, you can do it. You're nearly there, there we go. <laughs> um, but yes, I haven't done many Tuck Up and Ride With Me's before, but you guys really enjoyed the last one, so I thought I'd do it again. And as I'm jumping, I'm going to do some little voiceovers here and there, just pointing out pretty much my mistakes and what I could have done to correct them. Obviously, in the moment, without an instructor there, nothing's going to be perfect all the time, especially when you're an amateur like me and have only had this horse a couple of weeks. <laughs> so we're very much still getting used to each other. But watching back the videos, I can see a lot of my mistakes and I'm hopefully going to talk to you guys and basically say what I could have done to correct my little mistakes. But luckily for me, Inky is an absolute star. He puts up with all my mistakes, none of them too horrendous, luckily, <laughs> and we just had an amazing time. If you follow my Instagram, Lily.Equestrian, you would have seen I put some videos up there yesterday, and he was just amazing, so I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I also want to say a huge thank you to Ella. She came to take some of the gorgeous videos as my dad takes some on my phone. He, he does an okay job, sometimes he's filming the floor. Um, yeah, <laughs> so thank you Ella for coming to record on your lovely camera, it was really really nice to have some nice videos of Inky and have some quality content to share with you guys. So yeah, that's it really, I've tried to fill the silence with my talking, so let's get started. <laughs> So after warming up over a few fences, I did start jumping properly. Obviously, we started with the fences small for a warm up and they don't really get very big during this video. As like I said, we've only been together a couple of weeks. It's not about jumping big at the moment. He's perfectly capable of jumping big. I'm perfectly capable of jumping big, but we need to focus on getting things correct, our approach, our takeaway. 
takeaway. Is this Pizza Hut? I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway. Throughout the session, you'll notice a mistake I seem to consistently make is on our right hand turns. I'm opening my right hand, which is correct, but unfortunately I was not supporting him with my left leg nor lifting up my left hand, which is why you can see his head bent to the right and him drift over to the left here. Uh, drifting over to the left is a recurring issue for him. He does tend to do it and I definitely wasn't helping the situation. The left rein is my personal weaker side and I'll touch down on that a little bit more further into the video but for now I just popped him around a couple of fences, got a feel of taking him around a course, he's fighting me a little bit there because he's very keen. So this particular line that I'm about to do, I really focused on throughout the session because it is a weakness of mine and a weakness of his. You'll notice this time round, it's not good. <laughs> we drift way over to the left. We land on the left, we drift to the left. I just about get him over the fence. And you see a better angle of it here. It's just a bit of a mess. I was not supporting him with my left leg or my left hand. We struggled. So to correct it, as my left rein is my weaker rein due to a knee injury, my left leg just isn't as strong as my right leg. We did put a placing pole, which definitely helped a lot. He backed off a little bit here and he jumped in the center of the fence. This is something I do focus on for most of the session as it is a weakness of ours. And of course we want to improve our weaknesses. It isn't perfect, but it was a lot, lot better. And you get to see it take some steps forward, take a couple of steps back throughout the session. And now here is Inky displaying how excited he is through bucking. Thank you very much, Inky. I appreciate it. <laughs> Get up! <laughs> King Inky. So I focus on this line again. I have a nice steady approach. I really collect him. The turning was a lot better, though his head isn't completely straight. He does land a bit to the left on landing, but it's much improved from last time. And as I said, I do focus quite a bit on this line. I was really trying to get straight, which we were struggling with. I'm not going to lie. It wasn't perfect. But this was definitely a much better one, even though we did land over to the left a bit. The placing pole really, really helped. So if anyone else does struggle with this, I definitely would recommend the placing pole. Here, <laughs> I just wasn't supporting him with my left leg, so he does come round that corner a bit crooked, and he had a little buck. <laughs> Boy, that, was so good. that was really nice. Go on, Inky, buck! Go on! Oh no, she's jumping, never mind, don't do that. That was nice. There it is. <laughs> King. Yeah. Getting bigger. Let's talk about this for a hot second. Again, my right hand turns. My left side is a lot weaker. I <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. Honestly, I can see the mistakes clear as day here, but in the moment, my mind goes blank, no thoughts, head empty, and I ride like a potato. So here, I'm just hanging off my right rein. I'm not supporting him with my left leg. I should have softened my right hand, opened it up, lifted my left rein up to hold him up in front, and supported him with my left leg to get him straight around the turn. Instead, 
we pretty much came around with a bent inky. <laughs> kind of bent like a dead goldfish, but luckily he's a saint and clears it anyway. Here again, I make the same mistake. He comes around crooked. I didn't get him straight, so he lands over to the left. Even the placing pole couldn't really correct that. That was just bad riding on my part, and he was getting very keen here, so I was struggling quite a bit to hold him in the snaffle. He was actually previously jumped in slightly a stronger bit in his old homes. I have just stuck to the snaffle for now, though I will definitely be looking at something just a tiny bit stronger. Nothing insane, because he really isn't a super strong horse he just tends to lean and get very downhill and i am struggling a little bit with that but it's all the learning process of learning how to ride him a little bit straighter there for a bit but we do get a little bit bent there <laughs> this corner here he got very downhill after landing from this fence and was kind of just zooming off around this corner as you can see it wasn't done at a very collected pace he kind of got downhill and then coming into the stubble i was having to really sit him up whereas if i'd sat him up around the corner i wouldn't have struggled so much <laughs> so you'll get another angle of it here i really was kind of just letting him turn immediately on landing when i should have been keeping him straight and then letting him just fall through his shoulders and run down on his head. But luckily he did sit up for me coming into the double, which was very nice of him. Thank you, Inky. But um, coming around corners, he was fighting me a little bit. This time we do the corner a lot better. It's a lot steadier, a lot more balanced. Not perfect, but definitely an improvement from that previous zoom that was done before. And dug a little bit deep into the double, but he sourced it out because he's a little star. Yay! I hope you all enjoyed this video. Of course, it's still very early days. There was a lot of mistakes, but there were some good parts to take away. And I just had a really great time. I was grinning the entire time. Inky's a star. I absolutely adore him and I'm so, so excited for the future. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.